Hey guys, I'm Ben with King Machinery. We got the Spartan RZHD that we're gonna go over real quick today and give you some advantages, features of the Spartan and why you would buy it over the competitors. Um, we're not here to put other brands down or anything, just to show you the features and advantages of the Spartan themselves. One thing that sticks out first and foremost is the seven gauge steel deck. That's gonna be on every Spartan mower, even the uh, introductory RZC, they're all going to have seven gauge steel deck. Um, you're also going to get commercial grade spindles and idler pulleys on every deck. Underneath here, you also have the dampener system on all of the deck systems. So that helps take out your chatter whenever you start up your PTO. There's always some slack in your belt that chatters around. This dampener system combined with the spring is gonna take a lot of that out and help extend your uh, life of your deck uh, belt. While we've got this up, we can point out that you've got rubber bumpers here underneath the foot platform. So it takes out all of the rattle and the banging and clatter that you might have on other mowers. This one comes standard with your mat on top where other mowers is just a slick uh, metal there spartan goes ahead and gives you the uh, rubber mat to help with your grip and everything getting on and off the mower the spartan also has a unique brake system parking brake system so you've got a lock and an unlock for your park brake here and you control that with your foot when you're on the uh, mower itself so real easy to push with your foot on and off as far as getting your parking brake Set. The other thing that we really like about the Spartan is it is a single piece frame. So it starts here and goes all the way around one piece. It is just bent. There are no welds, uh, any weak points that are going to be uh, there that would come up and be an issue down the road. Very, very heavy duty, very well made. Again, Spartan puts a lot of thought into what they do and uh, why they do it. So on the RZH. You do get a lot of the commercial features, even though this is considered a high-end residential. So you do get the nine and a half gallon fuel tank on the RZHD. And then when we raise the seat up, you'll also see that you get the Parker pumps under here. So it's Parker pump and motor combination. So they're pre-charged. There's no kind of gear reduction or anything like that. So you get up to 25% better efficiency out of these pumps. So what that allows it not only helps your fuel efficiency, but it also gives more power directly to the deck where you really want it on the mower to be able to turn those blades and really perform um, at top performance. On all of the RZHDs, you can choose between either a 25 horsepower Briggs engine, which this one has on it, or you can get the Kawasaki engine. Um, a lot of that comes down to preference, user preference, and uh, what you like better. So we do try to keep both models in stock. Um, we're not here to say that one's better than the other or anything. Again, it kind of what you like and what you want. Um, but while we've got the seat up, we can show you here, you do have a shock on your drive control arms. So that'll help with the smoothness of the uh, mower. These mowers are extremely smooth. There's no real jerking whenever you're trying to make turns or anything, or you push one lever a little too far forward or the other one, not as much. This uh, one thing that we really like about the Spartans is they are extremely smooth from that aspect. We'll go ahead and let the seat back down and we'll kind of go over some of the suspension and all on the RZHD. So here you've got three different isolators underneath here. You got one in the front and two at the back. It's called a 360 degree flotation system. Think of your car engine um, and, and uh, engine isolators. This is basically the same thing, but basically it's gonna take a lot of the shock out and uh, give you just, you know, it's gonna absorb a lot of that shock before you're gonna feel it. Um, it comes standard with a Dama trial seat. And uh, so that gives you a lot better cushion on these RZHDs. So one thing, whenever you get on a Spartan, you can feel the thickness of that deck and just the uh, mass of all of the mounts. It takes a lot of the vibration and shock out. But we'll also go over the deck control here. So you've got this dial knob here and you've got the foot pedal down here. 
So the foot pedal is going to relieve all the tension off of it and it's going to allow you to dial this knob in to the exact height that you want and then you just release it and it drops down to whatever height you've set it at here on the dial knob. Now there have been complaints and issues in the past with the previous models with this system where over time it would uh, eventually start dropping. They have uh, gone in and redesigned this and, and really improved it and uh, made all the improvements that needed to be made on that. So we're not seeing that issue anymore. Um, new for 2022, they do offer a pin kit where you can mount it down here and you can actually have a pin if you feel more comfortable with that. That is an option that can be added to these mowers um, for 2022. Again, Spartan just tries to go above and beyond to uh, meet all of the customer's needs, all the customer's wants. Coming over here, you've got the control panel. So this is going to be your start, stop, your key switch. Everything is going to be here. You can read your hours. You can go between your RPMs on your mower and your volts on your battery there. And then this is going to give you your change oil in service reminder. So it's going to count it down for you. Each mower is going to have a recommended 20 hour break in time and then after that it's every 100 hours for your oil change. So after you do that first 20 hour uh, break in, you'll reset this and it'll automatically reset to every 100 hours after that. So a lot of people have been nervous about the fact that there's not a key. The advantages of this system to us, again, it does give you all of your readouts for your engine speeds, your uh, maintenance schedule and everything, but it also allows you to personalize a code. So you can pick anywhere from a four to 12 digit code and you can personalize this. So you're the one that's gonna know the code, you're the one that gets on, you put the code in, you press the button, you press it and start it. After seven seconds, if you get up off the seat, it's gonna time out and you have to put the code back in to start it again. Um, so again, it just adds some extra safety features in there, it gives you protection, peace of mind, but also, I mean, I know me, myself, I've forgotten the key in the past. I've been at one place and the mower's been at another and I go to get the mower and I forget the key and I have to go all the way back to get a key. This way you're not leaving a key behind, forgetting it or anything. All you got to remember is the code. The other thing that you're going to get here is the soft start PTO switch. So whenever you start this up, it's going to throw shorty, 30 short pulses to the uh, belt and engage the system. So it's going to keep your belt from slipping. It's going to extend your belt life. It's going to give you a uh, softer start as far as noise and sound and everything too. This button is a lifetime warranty on it. The console is part of the rest of the mower with a three year warranty on it. Um, you do have your 12 volt socket here where you can charge your phone and you've got a spot where you can stick your phone in here. Um, this one being that it is a uh, carbureted engine is going to have your choke. There are fuel injected engines when you get up into commercial grade ones. Um, and then this of course is going to be your throttle for your engine as far as increasing and lowering. They all come pre-wired for a light. So it's just a plug and play system. The light button is already here. You've got the uh, You've got the connector for the light underneath the seat where you can easily connect the light in. It's uh, easy to hook up and plug and play. So I wanna take a minute and demonstrate the soft start button for you. So I'll enter the code in here. You wanna make sure that your part brake is set, that your arms are out in neutral, and that you're in the seat and the PTO switch is not on. As long as you've got all that, you're gonna lift it up to choke it. You're gonna press and hold. When it fires up, you put the choke down. I'm gonna go ahead and give it full throttle because they do recommend starting at full throttle. So you come all the way up. You can hear how easy and soft the start is. Well, I was telling you before, they've got the single piece frame. One thing, they didn't just slap that this all together with no thought or any process. They actually took this to a NASCAR weight track and they actually weighed it to make sure that it was balanced front to back. So that's, you get maximal performance on heels from that. But also the other thing that they've done, they have their own patented tire system. So you've got 
these two cleats and then these two are offset. So every other cleat is offset about a half inch. So it gives you a wider tread pattern. A lot of people question whether or not this is gonna tear your yard up, but from our experience, you actually get less uh, damage to your yard with this tire than you do just a regular turf tire. And there's many reasons for that. This one is a radial tire, so you can actually, it's got belted, still belted inside there. So you can lower the pressure in these and it'll give you better uh, surface traction. So it's gonna give you a wider spot where you're turning around, so it's gonna be less likely to spin the yard up in that instance, where if you think about your other turf tires, they're normally ballooned up, and like a lot of times you're only getting the very center bottom part that is actually touching, and that's where you really get your tear in the yard from that aspect. So I told you about the design of the uh, single piece frame and the tires and how it gives you better performance on the heel. We're here at our Statesville location, uh, King Machinery here in Statesville, North Carolina. And the best hill we've got is over here behind me. So we're gonna actually take the mower over there. We're gonna put it on the hill and we're gonna let you see how it performs for yourself. So we're gonna show you the steepest hill that we've got. It does not mean that it's the steepest hill that it can go on. It's just the steepest one that we've got here at our facility that we can show you. We do have this magnetic protractor angle locator that we're gonna put on the deck. And so you'll be able to actually see what angle we are putting the mower at on this hill. And it'll give you an idea. Um, again, not saying this is the steepest hill that you can put it on, but it's what we've got to show you. I'm Ben with King Machinery. This has been my walk around of the Spartan RZ HD. As always, if you would like, share, and follow us, you'll get more content like this as we continue to make videos. A face off. Yeah, he would. Oh, I could have stabbed that rabbit. <laughs>